have you checked the children? Go a little faster. Hi, I'm Johnny. Hey, I'm Jackie. Wanna play? Hey, I'm Jackie. Wanna play? Sometimes that is better. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. I mean, Fuego here. And we are here to do another trailer reaction roundup. I think we got nine to look at today, Fuego. Indeed. Let's uh, let's get started with uh, uh, probably it, as everybody likes to say one of the worst ones. Let's just get it over with. <laughs> let's look at Amityville Uprising. So, so this is supposedly a zombie version of an Amityville light. Right. <laughs> like, hey, let's continue using the license. It's public domain. Yep. It's Lionsgate. Anyone can use. Why the Amityville, not. so <laughs> everyone is using Amityville. Yes, they Especially are. Sean C. Phillips, who's making like his third Amityville movie coming up here That's pretty soon. That's I recognize. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, three, two, one, go. Good morning, Long Island. Yeah. Okay. Oh Wait. my God, that explosion looks awful. <laughs> yeah, that did look really wretched. <clears throat> acid rain in Long Island. Some form of hydrochloric acid. I don't know the extent. Of white lighting too. Look at the yeah, yeah. curse. Can assist you. Oh, Man, it's Once it makes contact. Oh, oh, geez, man, we're I'm a more technician. What do you want me to do? Hmm? It consumes you. Of course it does. Oh, there we go. We need to clear the station and head out to the alley. Screw the alleyway. That is acid rain. We aren't going anywhere. Guys, what? there's something in here with us. That thing was a man. I just killed a dead guy. Evil. Will. Okay. Rise. <laughs> oh. Scott C. Rowe, Tank who? Jones, who? Michael Ferguson. Who? We need to at least try to make a call. <laughs> say who, who, who. This is Amity Hill City 3. We're under siege by zombies. Ah. Another instance of this. Mm -hmm. Amityville Uprising. Yeah, it looks just as bad as I thought it was going to look. <clears throat> Indeed, yeah. And notice they didn't say the Amityville Uprising. Yeah. It's just Amityville Uprising. Yeah, no, this looks terrible. I will yeah. never watch this. I'm not going to waste my time. I'll leave that up to Rotted Reviews if you guys are interested to know thoughts on every single anim uh, Amityville movie that comes out, make sure you go check out Rotted Reviews. I, uh, on the other hand, will stay far, far away from this one. So, so weren't you and Marsha <clears throat> supposed to be doing like a large chunk We're going to do it Amityville ideally in January. We're going to do a big tier list of <clears throat> all the Amityville movies, but Marsha and I are only going to watch like the first eight is so that way we don't have to go through all the crap. I think they're up to like 36 or 37 right now. I saw in the spreadsheet you were like, not to watch, not to watch, not yeah. to watch. Yeah, exactly. So th there's like one or two shots with the acid rain that I thought looked okay, but d and I think it's the one that's coming up right here, but yeah, aside from that, man, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's this one. That, yeah, right there. I thought that looked kind of cool, but yeah, everything else, it's as generic and boring, and this is just them trying to milk an IP to make a buck. So, yeah. yeah. All right. That's enough of that. So, uh, that's thank you, Amity Uprising. So, Let's go to yeah. a Paramount release called American Refugee. I mm -hmm. don't know how horror this is, but it appears to be a post apocalyptic kind of thing. Let's mm -hmm. see. It Three, is. Two, it, it's, oh. it, it's like a martial law kind of thing, from what I understand. Okay. And it's more like horror thriller of that sort. I thought this was one of those uh, Epics partnerships, but I could be mistaken since they're saying Paramount movies. Maybe it's going direct to Paramount Plus. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I'm curious. Right. Let's bring it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Wall Street. Like protests returning to violence again for a third night. The nation is essentially under martial law right now. It's getting bad out there. I'm scared. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> the fence is electric. Oh. You need to go talk to them. You ain't got but one neighbor for 10 or 15 miles. You might want to know who they are. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, yeah. Life's There's another of these epics part of the hatch stays locked. locked. Yes, sir. And I recognize him if he is the white dude. Go, 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 go! We have no food. They took everything. We need your help. Can't help you. Can't or you won't. Go somewhere else. There is nowhere else. I 
know you're scared. So are we. Dear Lord, please bless this food we are about to receive. Amen. Amen. Okay, I thought it was that uh, accurate. Hmm. <clears throat> I think he's in... I don't know where he's from. Why didn't you say amen? Uh, are we safe here? Get some sleep. I don't think you know what's going on out there. Why do you think I'm in here? This baby is coming from, to uh, stay. True we blood. have to prove our value. Is it the guy here in the We got a breach! Wait, are you taking yeah. your son out there? Yeah, it's I'm Sutton's taking brother. Him. Right. No, 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 not his brother. So the guy who owned the bar. Right. Down here. You all answer to me. I've seen him in a number of things over the years. This is your Mostly fault. Mostly just low budgy. World thriller. is collapsing. You know, That's not my fault. Your being here is no accident. This is what happens when you try to take what's mine! How do you expect to protect your family? I don't know, it might not even be that guy, but mm. it looks an awful lot like him. No, it certainly does. Uh, <coughs> Jay, it's this continued uh, thing that Blumhouse is doing with Epix. I, I've not been that impressed with the few that I've seen so far. A House on this the Bayou, do it for and me, then man. the this, this Deep looks... House was the other one. I, I think yeah. this is their next one in this line of releases. Uh, I mean, I I dig the casting as far as you know, getting a different non super gringo perspective about a situation like this. But then it's really the storytelling, man, that I'm not a hundred percent of it's going to bring that much originality to the board. I'm mean, definitely getting some Ten Cloverfield vibes, mm -hmm. getting some. <clears throat> I, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's not poorly produced, from what I can tell. I mean, it's another yeah. race, you know, black versus white thing. It feels like. Mm -hmm. I mean, God, there's just been so much of that recently, and uh, well, and there's been there's been debate from both sides of the color spectrum as to whether films like this actually help or mm -hmm. hurt, as far as like stuff like this maybe like reinforces some of the negative tensions and. <clears throat> and I'm pointing out to, you know, Chauncey K. Robinson, shout out to, you know, uh, 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 Twisted CK, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm trying to remember her exact YouTube channel, but she has touched upon these topics quite a bit, and she denounced series like them, and, uh, and you know, some of those others that were, uh, the antebellum that were covering some of this. I, I, I don't know how much the respective DNA we have here, uh, but, yeah, this looks very much... Uh, very much like what uh, we had from those Blumhouse originals that were on Prime, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it doesn't you know, look where, any more where None of them that. felt like they were theatrical worthy, and but there does seem like there is a, like they're helping each other despite some of the tensions, you know, with the child birthing and some of the working together, and also the jealousy, you know, with the hand on on the other love interest. But I don't know. I'm, I'm with you. I I don't know how sold I am on it. So. Yeah, no, I'll skip this one. So <clears throat> y'all can let us know if that ends up being worth our time. Uh, next trying one, to analyze a little bit more. Let's do another Epics one. This mm -hmm. is uh, called From. And this is a TV series, actually. Yes. Limited series. Epics TV series. In three, two, one, go. Hey! Must have got knocked down in a storm or something. It's a pretty selective storm. <laughs> hmm. Very observant, actually. Can we just leave, please? Jim! The studio part of the city. Maybe we missed the sign for the highway. We didn't miss the sign. When the sun refused to shine. Can I help you? We got on a detour off the highway and cell service around here. family with you? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah. I was wondering if you could point me in the direction of the highway. No problem. And one thing I know is true. What do you say? Stay on the road. You did uh, Oops. Very distinctive direction. Turn somewhere. Jim, we're driving in circles. This sort of thing. Mm. How about this one? How do we I do like these sort of stories, though. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, right? Okay. 
I'm getting some Shyamalan vibes it's just impossible. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Where are we? I know none of this makes sense yet. Everyone in this town has been exactly where you are right now. Everyone sees the tree. Those clips. Mm. I'll get trapped. Let's get out of here, please. Heaven. We are stuck. We didn't come here. We were brought. Oh, this feels so king, too. What are you doing? I'm checking to see if they've moved. If what moved? The treats. It's, it's interesting. The eclectic cast of characters, mm -hmm. too. Dark. Pocket door. I'm yeah, engaged. I'm yeah, I am, too, man. <laughs> I'm very into this. Your family's going to be safe. Safe from what? Mm, therein lies the question. Is there? Is that the lost connection? Oh, I've uh, missed you so much. Megan, what are you doing? Maybe I can come in. Oops. Oh, it's vampires. Oh! This is what happens when you break the rules. Whoa. Jesus! We gotta get out of this place. Wow. <laughs> Good music choice, although they'll probably copyright this. They're coming. There's only so many places we can go. Do you believe in monsters? Please don't. A man protects his family. <laughs> Get these people home, Sheriff. I'll do everything I can. Promise me. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah, that, was a good, that was great. That was a good trailer. <laughs> I'll definitely watch the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah. I, compared to the previous epics thing that we just saw a moment ago, uh, and also the fact that we know we're gonna have that, like we're shown this very lengthy eclectic cast of people. Mm -hmm. And if it's a series, we know that there's gonna be plenty of time to actually develop like, them. De yeah, yeah, totally, and and bring them into a more interesting. Although with her wearing the bell bottoms, mm -hmm. it's making me wonder what time period this is set in. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't recall any technology and looking at some of the cars and everything and like it could how be how long it could of a loop could this be? Piece. I mean it could yeah be. how to, but but you know since they were implying that there were peeps getting caught in this rift like over and over this weird vortex perhaps yeah we don't know how long these people have been here and, and how stuck so they've been at that age maybe they and, maybe these people arrive in yeah. the 70s but mm -hmm. it takes place nowadays because time passes like that I don't know. If we're asking all these questions, yeah. that means we're intrigued. So. Well, no, okay. Cool. So the 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 bug, it, it the bug is at least a two thousands bug that you see Was right it? there. Yeah, that's at least a two thousands bug. Hmm. So although, does that necessarily mean that people from no, it doesn't. Later in time the two thousands can show up and, and yeah, yeah. Other yeah people so from there the there might be. That's yeah. actually really smart. That's a that's a good way to get uh, to hmm. excuse anachronistic details mm -hmm. that you miss yeah right? yeah because, because it doesn't matter someone like, brought it in yeah yeah it's it. someone brought it in and so it it would really just depend when in that uh, that time of that timeline they found themselves there because this yeah, could almost you were be totally like a, right. a much better version of the village too you know what i mean where it's literally a community that's frozen in time mm -hmm. Um, and new people just get stuck in it along the way. That's a really interesting premise. Although I'm gratifyingly so, they seem to be beating us over the head that there is actually a supernatural yeah. presence as opposed to in the village where, well, where we won't spoil if you've never seen that Shyamalan movie from like yeah. 20 years ago. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm dude, I'm down. Yeah. I might renew my Epic subscription, you oh. know, for this. So All right. It's been like five bucks a month. So, <laughs> so let us know what your thoughts are on yeah. that one. Next up is a thriller, a sci-fi thriller, just called King Car. Yeah. This is from another country, so this is a foreign trailer. Yeah. Uh, but it's been featured at Fantasia and Fantastic Fest, as well as the Rotterdam Fest. So, three, two, one, go. I think Rotterdam is where it's debuted, so, yeah. Ninho, sabe que você é? Você é o grandão da nossa fábrica de brinquedos. As long as it's not on the lines of Titan. Quem eu sou pra você? Você é meu melhor amigo. Tanto que eu e tua mãe trabalhamos pra te dar do bom e do melhor, Uno. Quando é agora tu quer se socar dentro do mato feito peba, Uno? Olha você. Que coisa boa. Tio, eu escuto a voz dos carros. 
diante de tanta injustiça. Não é só uma resistência. É possível modificar essa realidade. It seems interesting, but <clears throat> I'm not terribly intrigued. I'll let you watch it and let me know if it's worth time. Yeah, because that's definitely one that I would probably find myself coming into. 4x4 was another one that was car-based from a Latin, uh, you know, Latin American country, or maybe South America, I can't remember specifically, that I saw earlier this year that dealt with other stuff about the struggle between classes and whatnot. 4x4 was the shit. And it was about this dude who got trapped in a 4 by 4 like some very luxury-looking thing in South America. I believe it's Argentina. And then he couldn't get out. He was a car thief. And the owner started speaking to him and then torturing him inside of the vehicle mm. by upping the heat, upping the, you know, downing the cold and all this different stuff. So um, any... Any sort of commentary about them, where it merges automobiles and social commentary and like a thriller, maybe a very very small sci-fi sort of bit, but it's it's obviously genre filmmaking where, you know, almost Knight Rider with the fact that the car yeah, is it talking, like that, yeah. maybe getting some sentience of sorts. So, yeah, I will check it out and I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, <laughs> please do because like, please. I am definitely not interested enough to seek it out on Sorry. my own. So, all right, let's move on to a new one. From uh, we're down to the three biggest things, honestly. Let's do the yeah. new uh, Hulu thing that is a Chloe yeah. Grace Moretz vehicle called Mother Android. So yeah. three, two, one, go. Maybe more so on the sci-fi than the horror, horror from mm -hmm. what I understand. But can you sleep all right? No. We gotta get going. Seriously. She won't stop kicking. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, she's pregnant. Oh, Chloe Grace Moretz old enough to be pregnant? Oh, that's weird. The drum stuff's kind of cool. No, oh God, we still we had a trailer before a trailer here. In a perfect world, or maybe not. None of this ever would have happened. Androids were a part of our everyday life. For hot chocolate, yeah. sir. And then one night. Oh Jesus! Uh, so. Okay, so now we're getting all the androids go bad. Right. Gotta get to Boston before I give birth. The only safe place. How long would that take? Two weeks. If you can find a safe way for us to go, I'll go. I'm fighting a war against an enemy that literally never sleeps. Killing machines. They won't stop until we're all dead. Cool. Yeah, so very terminator vibes. No checkpoints. No humans. A lot of androids. We'd have to be quiet. Silent. We'd have to be silent. Is that possible? <laughs> Chico, back. We can't outrun them. This is the only shot we've got. The blue eyes are Android cool. rebellion leads to the extinction of human well, life. Where's all this extreme red coming from? I would kill for you. Yeah. I would die for you. I would be the same for our baby. Well, My son. I'm going to give you the only thing that I have left. A chance. That cyborg face was dope. This 
I don't know. It looks interesting. I'll probably wait to hear yeah. what some other people say about it first. What What, what are you thinking, Fuego? I mean, since it's a film as opposed to a series, I, it's I will easier to digest. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely give this a shot at least. I still haven't watched her Shadow in the Cloud movie, the creature movie. It wasn't I, bad. I, 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 wasn't I think bad. I'd enjoy it. I mean, yeah. it's 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 <clears throat> straight up the gremlin on the side of the plane. I love that. Set in World War II. It's I love it, that. it's not bad. I I enjoy the fact that. You know, she had this little lull for a few years where she wasn't getting work, and now it seems like she's starting to again. And, you know, back to genre stuff. Well, she and got Tom and Jerry, too, this year. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Which, she's, I, she's which got, I am she's got, she's busy. fortunately watched. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kids would love Tom and Jerry. So but, it seems interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting story. It's an interesting premise. Now, I, will give I don't it a know shot. that the acting's going to carry it through like I want it to, but, you know, I, yeah, I'll probably give it a shot. Yeah, I think. Lo I mean, Chloe Grace is the only thing, really, that would bring me to this sort of mm -hmm. generic Terminator sort of situation, right. honestly. Agreed. So. All right, so, <clears throat> moving on to the second to last thing, which is the newest and first, yeah. I believe, full trailer first full official. for Nightmare Alley, which I'm going to be seeing early with probably Robert this time, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so yep, this review will be up. Yep, everyone. Yep, so this review will be up uh, definitely in time for its official release, if not a good deal earlier, right when Embargo drops, Is because it next that's week? also the, no, it's the same week that Spider-Man comes out, so second oh, week. Shit. So, all right. Trailer for Nightmare Alley by Guillermo yeah. del Toro. Indeed. Three, two, one, yeah. go. Stacked cast for this photo. Okay, so we have another trailer within a trailer. Nightmare Alley. Only in theaters December 17th. Final trailer starts now. Thanks. A oh, final trailer. Thanks. Okay. I love the fact that Disney is retaining Searchlight and they're retaining 20th Century Studios. I will ask you simple questions. questions. You will answer in short sentences only what you believe to be absolute truth. Story trailer, absolute as you always truth. call it. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah, you know, I'm assuming this takes place after the fact. Shit now, went really bad. brief as you can, what is your name? Stanton Carlisle. Hmm. Are you a true medium? Yes, like I, I am. Yeah. 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 Doctor. About that. It's like hubba hubba. Please <laughs> can you read minds? Yes, I can. Under the right circumstances. Keep your answers brief. What do I want? To be found out, same as everybody else. Are you in contact with the Beyond? Oh, we've too, had our share of snake charmers in the past. Attorney Laura, hubba We hubba. deal with them. You don't fool people, Stan. They fool. I've given you a fortune. Wow. It's time that you delivered. When does it end? I want to know. <laughs> if you displease the right people, the world closes in on you very, very fast. It makes me want to revisit like all of the <laughs> noir that <laughs> you know, whether it's neo noir like Mulholland Drive. Or whether it's like the early, it. early Kubrick, or exciting to me. Oh, oh. dude, I am so, 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 it so sold. L.A. Exciting. Confidential. I liked L.A. Confidential, but I hated Crimson Peak, and this feels like so much more Crimson Peak than anything else Guillermo has done. Not from, a, 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 I mean, a setting as far as it's just, it just goes, seems like pretty, think? pretty people, pretty locations, well, but... every important person after Shape of Water was going to want to be in the next Guillermo del Toro I movie. Know, I and know. that's why this cast is, like, bonkers, man. I but, just, the, the story didn't catch me like I was hoping it would, I gotta be honest with you. Because okay. this is the this is the story trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, the final trailer is the story or trailer. Or at least a taste I'm of not, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... Look, I'm going to still like go see it early, and I'm going to enjoy it because, you know... I mean, because if you want me and Robert to go see no, it, I mean... No, no, sorry, <laughs> if I go, no, sorry, that's not, uh, no. Because yeah. uh, i got to give it a try. It's yeah. Guillermo del Toro, and I do love his style. This just feels it like... It's beautifully shot there, Let right? me say, this feels like The Last Night in Soho to Edgar Wright. This, this feels like... To Guillermo, what Last Night in Soho was to Edgar Wright. You and I make those make comparisons, yeah, yeah, and it makes sense in the fact that it's it's, it's presumably a little bit of a period, based on, right? Period piece. It's totally a period piece, but it's obviously a period that because there's a disparity in the age of those two, correct? You know, and so for that reason, it's very much like okay, if there is any like era that you could 
put something that's kind of horror into what would you do and obviously this sort of i'm assuming 30s like right. it does 40s. feel very la confident yeah 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 it feels very much i love oh, ron perlman in this too i didn't of even course. realize well, that Guillermo i mean del Toro. yeah that he's that? in everything yeah. Guillermo does so yeah i'm so about this dude although i still feel like i know very little about the story and mm -hmm. so in a way that's exciting to me no, I agree. Just because yeah. I said it's the story trailer doesn't mean I uh, we we know everything about the story. I'm just saying we this assumed it was tells be a more story, about the like... story than the last trailer did, at mm -hmm. least. Yeah, which it did, <clears throat> which it definitely did. You know, there was a lot of pretty imagery in the previous one, and we saw the glitz and the glamour of the fact that this is all set at a traveling carnival sort of situation. I'm I'm definitely still getting vibes from that season of American Horror Story, like oh, hardcore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the I can't remember. Is what it the it's free called. show season? Yeah. Free show season. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I I feel like it's <clears throat> supposedly set in the same, you know, sort of situation. Time frame. Man. Okay. Man, I just okay. Kate Blanchett, pretty great. I, I have I have such a thing for Rooney Mara. I don't understand what it is. Like in that red, relax. looking very Jackie Kennedy. Just relax. You know. Um, all right, so that's going to do it for our thoughts on Nightmare Alley. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Please do. So the last thing we're going to react to is something that I did watch because I wasn't thinking and I... We didn't know if we were... Like, didn't know for sure. Yeah. But honestly, uh, this is Jurassic World Dominion, prologue. the prologue, which to me just looks like the first five minutes of the movie because mm -hmm. it says at the end of it to be continued in... Jurassic World Dominion and it's not it, you'll see it's not like a separate story it definitely feels like a, few, a chunk of the movie I was reading in a few places though that it was going to be very very similar to what they did with Blade no. Runner 2049 oh. where they had like these little mini well they did the other that, one right the other one where the dinosaurs got out the other short the, like seven minute short that came out like a year ago mm -hmm. where the dinosaurs were out and oh, yeah, that's attacking right. the, the campsite the, the something Remember the campsite rock or the, yeah something rock yeah 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 uh brighton rock or brighton something rock. like that yeah yeah, yeah perhaps they yeah, were probably both completely <laughs> wrong but i like yeah, that one yeah. i thought that was cool and so I assume this was maybe a similar thing, but maybe no, this, it's just this the first feels five minutes. like the first five minutes of the movie. You tell me. Three, two, one, go. Bring us up to speed, everybody. <laughs> like literally, down yeah. And to if the they're showing Universal this. logo, yeah, because this was initially accompanied exclusively in theaters with Fast Nine, oh, F Nine, okay. and that was the I only... didn't see Fast Nine in the theater. Yeah, so. yeah, it was the only place you could see it. it was in theaters with F Nine, and they just recently decided to put it, like, you know. Just to remind people, hey, this movie's coming out, so it's online now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I dig that, too. I like that. Dinosaur logo on the Earth. I still remember those particular trees. It's not tree trunks. <laughs> CGI looks good. I gotta say. Yeah. It definitely looks like CGI. Yeah. Well, we but know they don't some, exist. But, but, but good CGI. Well, no, wasn't this particular breed the one that they. This said, is the Brachiosaurus. said yeah. existed, and then they were like, no, it didn't exist. No, the Brachiosaurus they, existed. So was it the. Was we it have Brachiosaur dinosaurs. Was it the Bronchiosaur? Where, where they thought that they put like the bones of two different I'm together? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. There's most definitely a thing with one of those. The Brontosaurus and the Brachiosaur? They're, mm -hmm. they're the same dinosaur, pretty much. Well, it was between the two of them, if I remember, where... I'm really wondering if there's even any dialogue in this. Um, not at this part. Have they, have they well <laughs> done well, obviously. This is uh, ancient because, times, in case you couldn't tell. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if they're like in no, yeah, parts or whatever. It, it, you look, know, yeah, I, no, they broke out. Because I know the, the vibe time. is that they've retaken, you know, the world, you know, for Dominion, which... Oh, that that one's dead now. Hmm. That oh, yeah, that's right, because those, those little fuckers would go and steal the eggs. Mm -hmm. That was their thing. Good Sarah stuff. Okay. Sarah! <laughs> I just 
I've been tinkering the rewatch. Uh, Land Before Time? Yeah, I really have, man. That's a quality Sarah, movie. Sarah, Petrie, Spike. Good stuff. It made me cry my eyes out. Oh, boy. Mm, yeah, we not a little fucker. I like the nuance of just, like, licking out the, mm -hmm. you know, the main <laughs> one we liked so much. It was like the showdown. Um, Celebrity what? The one that was on uh, it was on Adult Swim. I think oh, really Primal. Was, Primal was great. Primal was yeah, great. Primal was awesome. So perhaps it's a good thing they had this additional couple of years to spend on refining effects and stuff. I don't know if I'm seeing it in this, but, you know, in the finished product, perhaps. Okay, People are always going to complain about the effects of these movies. Because <coughs> they're not going to be practical. Like million years, years later. Yeah. This is probably what would happen. The military trying to shut down dinosaurs without people knowing. Hmm. Let's all go to the lobby. Kind of an abrupt cut, but a uh, little bit. Definitely getting vibes of the Lost World right now. Yo, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course, there's heavy petting in the drive-in. Why the hell wouldn't there be? <laughs> Revival screening is good. Yeah, it's so nuts to <laughs> when he's in San Diego in the second one. Keep it safe! Check with our time factor. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I have a soft spot for the San Diego sequence in the Lost World. I love that sequence. I love it. I loved it and this I just seems kid. like this is finally yeah. fulfilling that promise. Because yeah. that Jurassic Park was 94, Lost World was 97, mm -hmm. and this is now fulfilling that promise literally 25 years later, yeah. giving us dinosaurs in and amongst our world. And that's, that's really... Uh, like How I don't care. I know it's not. We had, yeah. we had, we had, we had three movies of the park, yeah. right? And then we had other movies and stuff. And then Isla Sorna and all that stuff. I, I, I'm that. down. See, I'm down to see the dinosaurs inter intermingle with our society now. Yeah, at the end right of now. Fallen, yeah, at the end of because fallen now kingdom. we can get, <clears throat> now we can get, Jurassic Park offshoot movies. Mm -hmm. Give us. Which the, you better believe give us the Logan of do. Jurassic Park, where yeah. it's a horror movie set mm -hmm. where you know it's it's raptors attacking this community. You know what I mean? Like, how dope would that be if we could start branching off and getting different kinds of Jurassic stories that oh, aren't just this family okay, adventure okay. story? So, so you don't think there is going to be you could do in kids third, movies, you could do horror film, movies. You, you don't do... think it's going to be a Oh, everything is like wrapped up in a nice little oh, no. package. Like no, it's no, like no. we have crossed that barrier. I think it's going to transition no into being back. able to do different stuff. I think I'm we could get a Jurassic that. TV show mm -hmm. telling one story. I feel like we could get a whole bunch Put of. On if Peacock, there's one thing I mean, shit, that people are going to be okay with seeing more of, it's Jurassic oh, okay. dinosaurs. Yeah. I think it would oh, be yeah. just as popular, if not more so, than The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's what people have wanted to see their whole lives. Yeah. And, and like we've only gotten brief we got one TV show that was 
about dinosaurs coexisting with humans and it didn't even last a full season because it was so expensive to produce. Remind me what it was. I oh, like God, I can't remember what it was called. Was it based on Arthur C. Clarke's Lost I, World? I don't know. Was no, it? it was it was in the, it was set in the future and, like, dinosaurs... Oh, I can't, shit, I can't. it was a British show. Oh, no, was it, there was an American one. Well, 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 there was a BBC show, if I remember, too. BBC? Well, BBC Channel did Primal. 4. Okay, that's... that's Primal was amazing. That's that was like X-Files, okay. where it was a new dinosaur bad yeah, yeah, yeah. guy every show. That's that shit doing. was awesome, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. But no, that's not what I was referring to. But nonetheless, yeah. this, this feels this like it great, could be man. opening the gate for a lot of different things. You know, I had a lot of hopes for... Uh, uh, what Biona doing the second film and I was yeah. I was pretty disappointed with the second yeah, film me too. and I like Colin Trevorrow as a director I, I there really do there were some do. cool Even, horror moments in it but yeah. no, oh there were especially in the overall opening, the opening rough. is fantastic you know and yeah. some of the bits in the mansion were really good but the, the, the script suffered and mm -hmm. so I, yeah they are saying that this is because they're bringing all the legacy characters back mhm mm yeah, it's the last in a trilogy or in a, a dual. Oh, is trilogy. that what they're calling it? That's what they're saying. Jeez. But I think you were much closer to it. Where they're. Just I think it just could be a transition launch pad. Yeah, yeah, they're just positioning for you know bigger and you know cooler stuff. Or, or I don't even know if like bigger or cooler, but just different and different, separate yeah. stuff. You know that is within the within the universe. I so. mean, how cool would a horror movie set in this universe be, though? This is an awesome sequence with yeah, the two of them cool. fighting. I mean, it, it looks like an Indominus or yes, something he just, else. He's you know, fighting really easily. Yeah, though. that happened too quick. Yeah, fighting with the T Rex. So, all right, so that's that. Now the final trailer is one that is coming to Shutter that is uh, called Death Valley, mm -hmm. and this. Supposedly has cool creatures, not unlike the Resident Evil movie that we just saw. Yeah, and it's from the same person who directed Psycho Goreman. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that who is was now fun. actively working on Psycho Goreman too, exactly. which is on their news. Yep, that we're yep. about to do, we will so. talk about that in here in well, just a couple hours, <laughs> like an hour. Oh not, yeah, less than that. All right, not even that. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Lockdown. <laughs> Hours ago, San Mies Institute received a distress call from one of their I didn't know that was a dread, too. Alpha entered the facility. Starting to try to Looks like they found other. something in the ice. That's Chloe? They're coming. It feels a little like you. What is this thing? The longer we stay here, the more dangerous it is for you. So much like Doom. Yeah, it's well, called Doom slash Resident Evil. I mm -hmm. mean, one hundred percent. So I can see why and it was either Haunted Meg or Squires or one of those peeps from BD who was saying that this is very much in the same vein. Um, I don't know that I would rush to see it. I'm gonna definitely wait and see if there's people that like it or not first, because this doesn't like the monsters look cool, but eh, the other stuff. I felt the same little, way little about rough. the void, you know, when oh, I finally, that's true. The when, void when, was when good, I finally the saw the void. void. So, you know, it was like, yeah, creatures look cool, but is there much of a story? And the fact that this is very military based as well, mm -hmm. I, I'm honestly, I think I went in with too much expectation, you know, based of on expectation the, for yeah, you. Yeah, I say it all the goddamn time, and it, it, it is hitting me right here. And the fact that we're seeing all these creatures and, and you know, the dark and all this other stuff, and. Psycho Goreman was a film that was very goofy. Yeah. And, you this know, doesn't seem it like it seems like it's taking itself too seriously. Very, very seriously, you know. Yeah. And PG, <laughs> PG thirteen, took itself into its. It, it just embraced the campiness of some of the scenes, especially where those creatures all faced off and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So, I'm also getting some feast vibes a little bit from this too, just to, just to the slightest degree. So. I will most definitely be at least giving it a you know little taste test and let Cecil know if it's any good. Man, yeah, let us let me know. Sorry, 
<laughs> hey guys, I just realized here at the end, uh, well, actually, as I'm editing the episode, that I forgot to do the Halo teaser. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just react to that myself. It's only like 27 seconds long or something like that. So I don't think Fuego even plays the game, so I don't think he'll care that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it up here at the end. So let's take a look at the teaser trailer for the Halo series. Let me get it pulled up right now. All right, here we go it's about what I expected Master Chief suiting up hello Master Chief yeah okay I figured it was gonna be super short and nothing that Fuego is gonna terribly miss love that sound though love that halo music um I mean it's about four shots of Master Chief, so it looks looks good enough so far, I guess. So, yeah. Again, I don't think Fuego is missing out on a whole bunch. You got Master Chief with scars. Um, in the shape of stuff. I can't remember what those are for, but whatever. I'm not super steeped in Halo lore. But, yeah, live action. It looks good. Looks like a cool live action version of the suit. We've seen cosplayers do it for years, so... Uh, yeah, looks fun. Looks fun enough. So there you go. That's the Halo teaser trailer. I think the next thing we get will hopefully be a bit more substantial to react to. All right. So that's going to do it for our trailer reactions, you guys. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of any or all of them. Until next time, though. Well, thank you to all of our patrons as well. Damn, we greatly right. appreciate all of your guys' support. Damn, uh, we're going today. to take a little break and then we'll be back to do our live news with booze for both october and november so hopefully you guys caught some of that it's gonna be up uh this is gonna go up tomorrow this reaction so uh thank you guys so much for watching until next time i've been cecil laird gracias i mean fuego and remember stay, stay scared, scared.